Today, we are going to talk about my favorite tube for bass fishing. Now, I mainly use these tubes for smallmouth bass to target them, but I have caught largemouth bass, perch, pike, a whole bunch of stuff on these. You guys have heard me say it a bunch of times. This is the coffee tube from Strike King, or otherwise known as the Strike King coffee tubes. This is the three and a half inch pro model tube. And you will notice that the colors that I have here are my three favorite colors. You have the natural goby, okay? Just wanted to show you the natural goby because you guys know that's my favorite tube. Smallmouth bass love gobies. It is a natural source of food for smallmouth and just tubes in general work crazy in Lake St. Clair. But anyway, my second, second favorite color for a coffee tube is the melon perch. Now again, it is in the three and a half inch pro model tube, whatever. But look at that. Look at it, just look. Melon perch. You know, funny story too is when I was out fishing with um, Eternal Angler and Northern Mike, I caught a perch on a melon perch tube. Kind of cool. You know, right now I'm just kind of showing you guys the colors. Even though it <laughs> probably feels like I'm kind of dragging it out. But anyway, you have, like I said, the natural goby, the melon perch, and of course... How could I forget the green pumpkin? Green pumpkin is a great color choice for clear water. Whether that's a Texas rig craw, a worm, whatever, even a bait, a green pumpkin toffee, I almost just said a green pumpkin toffee cube. A green pumpkin coffee tube. You cannot go wrong with it. Open up the old Bass Mafia. Okay. So the majority of the time, I will... Oh, yeah. That's great. The majority of the time, I will fish the coffee tube on a quarter-ounce tube jig. Now, I don't want to try to jump all over the place too much, but um, the Strike King tube jig head has to be my favorite tube jig. I will use that Strike King tube jig in a quarter ounce size, a five eighths and a half ounce. But as you guys know, as I've said in many other videos, my favorite size to use is a quarter ounce. Uh, you'll hear people say that a quarter ounce is standard. Um, I believe that. I will use a quarter ounce a lot, whether I'm on shore, on a boat. I will step it up to like, like I said, a five eighths, a three eighths, a half ounce if you know, it's a really windy day or if I'm fishing deep and I want the bait to go down faster. Or another thing I have noticed is there are times where they want that bait to fall hard and, you know, dig in. Sometimes when it does that, they react to it better. Sometimes they don't. But anyway, I'm, this is all over the place. Like I said, the Strike King tube jig head. And the other one is the BPS Bass Pro Shops tube jig head. Now, there is a little bit of a difference in price, I do believe that the Strike King is a little bit more expensive than the BPS, but I have used both. Um, if I had to pick one or the other, I mean, of course, I would pick the Strike King tube jig, but the BPS also does work very good. Now, remember too, if you're still watching this video, I'm just talking about how I fish tube jigs. This is just what I like to do with these. Okay, so, and then I think, like I said about that 5.8, I think should be a 5.8 over there. Should be. You know, another thing that I don't have in this box, because I've been telling you guys that this, that my terminal tackle box needs to be updated bad, is the Smalley Tubes. Uh, the Smalley Tube Jigs. I can't remember the exact brand, but the Smalley Tubes, those are cool too. They, they stand up more. I have noticed I do get snagged more on the Smalley Tubes, but that is another brand that I do like and use once in a while. You're gonna notice after you fish with the coffee tube for a while that the tube itself is actually more durable than you would think. 
the hooks go into the plastic and they stay in the plastic good. Okay, you do have that salt and that coffee scent. That salt coating, that coffee scent. You know, sometimes people will take that tube, they'll rub it against the carpet of their boat, they'll dull it out a little bit. I've seen them do that. A whole bunch of cool stuff you can do with these. Now, another thing that's really interesting that I've tried, because at first I was a little skeptical, is if you take the package and you look on the back of the package, it says Strike King, Co Strike King coffee tubes can be rigged with an internal tube head jig for dragging, jigging, or fishing offshore structure with the hook exposed. You can also rig these on a Texas rig for flipping or pitching into heavy cover. Recommended hook size for hollow body, three and a half inch tube, three out wide gap. Recommended hook size for solid head hollow body, four and a half inch tube, four out wide gap. Say that 10 times. Anyway, what I was telling you is, to my surprise, if you take a coffee tube and you Texas rig it with a two-aught or a three-aught hook and you put like a quarter ounce, three-eighths or a half ounce bullet weight on there, the hook will actually stay in the bait better than I thought. It will actually work Texas rig. Now, once in a while, will it slide up on that extra wide gap hook and give you a little bit of, a little bit of an issue? Yes, it will. But I've found that that happens with a lot of baits that I use, not just this bait. That's just a different way that you can fish it. And it says on the package that I'm telling you guys about. I have no idea how I forgot to mention this. But if I'm fishing a tube on a spinning reel, spinning setup, I will use 8-pound test fluorocarbon. Sunline Sniper or Super fluorocarbon. If I'm fishing a tube on a casting outfit, left-hand retrieve on a seven foot medium heavy or a seven foot medium, I'm gonna use probably anywhere from 12 to 16 pound test, depending on where I'm at and what I'm doing. I've noticed most of the time when I fish with the coffee tube, my favorite thing to do is to drag the tube slowly. Yeah, I either do that, I let it sit, or I will even aggressively hop it. And it all depends on what I'm doing, what the fish are doing, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But anyway, I could sit here and I could talk to you about the coffee tube all day because it's one of my favorite baits. You guys know I talk about it a lot. Um, but I do want to show you guys one more color that I really do like. If I had to pick one color coffee tube that I would pick, of course, the natural goby, but another color that I did experiment with last year and have good results with. Not quite as good as the natural goby but close was the what does that say magic goby so you ever tried the magic goby if you have, let me know. But anyway, enough of talking about the, the coffee tubes and all the blah, 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 whatever. Do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. What is your guy's favorite color coffee tube? And if you do not use coffee tubes, what is your guy's favorite brand of tube? Like I've been saying in these videos, a lot of it is personal preference. A lot of it is what you like. And in the spinning reel on the baitcaster video, a lot of you guys did comment and kind of engage the community. I thought that was really cool. So hopefully for the tube video, you know, it's just a boring coffee tube on a GoPro video. Hopefully you guys will continue to interact and, you know, like always, talk to you in the comments.